what's up ladies and gentlemen ab here and welcome back to my another tutorial video guys today i'm going to show you how to make 3d text fang through in the camera in adobe after effect guys this effect is actually very easy than you expect first thing you have to do you have to shoot your footage with drone like i did if you don't have a drone you can use a gimbal with wide angle lens to your camera if you don't have any more just you can download your footage from the stroke website guys so let's jump in adobe after effect and let's see how is it so let click here on this clip click here on new comp from selection so now already my clip is there in program monitor this is the clip i'm going to use so now whatever you can use your camera clip but here uh, i've been using drone shot so now click here on three lines then choose here on composition settings so now click here on 3d lender and you have to make sure your lender is in cinema 4d because it will help you to make this effect well and very speed up click here on this option and then reduce this quality because it will also help you to render fast your clip then click ok so now click here on tracker let me put it on my beginning of my clip and then click here on track camera so for here i have to wait because it will take a long time depend if your footage is 4k is 8k just can take a long time and to depend how long your footage is but i have an idea let me just go drink some coffee I will be back when it's done. <laughs> so now it's done. So now click here on 3D camera tracker settings. Here you can increase the tracker point size. If you want, if your point is very small, just you can increase it. Mm -hmm. So here I'm going to choose three points that i'm going to use whatever you can choose many as you want but me i'm going to choose three point that i'm going to use so then after this let's click on it and then create text so right here already the text is there so now if i pray you see my tracking effect was affected my text so now so now you see my track effect it's affect my so now click here on the text layer then choose here on transform just you can use this x rotation y rotation z rotation as you see here on x rotation i'm pull up my text up uh -huh. y rotation is to rotate from left to the right on here z is to rotate from up and down so now i'm going to put my this text on the center of my clip by using those position scales so now after this so let me write 3d text yeah this is enough so now for this i'm going to change the font let me change my font yeah this is perfect to me then put it into the center of this clip Mm 
Mm -hmm. So now close this information, then open this geometric option. So now here I'm going to increase this extrusion depth. It's like to extrude this text to become 3D. So as here you see, I'm extruding my text. Call it to bring the form of 3D text. So now close this text. So then after this, light click on here on this empty space, click new, and then choose light. Choose this ambient light type and then click OK. So for the second one, let click again, press new, and then click light again, then choose light type of spot. You have to make sure to take this cast shadow. Here you can increase the intensity of my text. You can increase or reduce it, depend on how your text is. Then click OK. So now as you see here, my spot right, I have it. So now I'm going to move this spot right into the light of my text. It depend where you want your light to be on your text. So I just want to put it here on the light side. So on the left side of my clip, of my text, sorry. So now I click here on the ambient light first. So here I'm going to choose the color of the shadow of this text. <laughs> okay, just you see. Mm -hmm. My 3D text is it's looking well. So now here you have to balance this light depend on how long your text is so you have to balance it where on this spot right because as you see here my my text it becomes into good 3d so now let me pray let me see how is it guys you see here my text it's looking very well so perfect so perfect so now open this 3d text and then click here on bevel style you have to choose into convex i'm going to in reduce this bevel depth and this one is too big let me let me reduce it to 0 0.5 0 0.5 it's too big also let me reduce it 0 0.2 okay yeah this is very perfect <laughs> so now my text effect is done it's done this effect is actually very easy than you think if you like my video, please leave your thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in next video.